um, the first thing that, you know, is to kind of observe and maybe take a picture of the animal or get a little video um, and then call your local rescue and tell them the situation and what's happening. Don't wait too long for a response. Sometimes they're so busy they don't get back to you. So it's it's okay if you bring it there. They might advise you to, it's the animal's okay, go ahead and take it back. One thing to know is an adult animal that lets you approach them, there's something wrong. Um, any adult wildlife, if you can get close to them, there's definitely something wrong whether it be a bird or a mammal. With baby mammals, sometimes we'll have actually like baby squirrels that are have been, they're kind of desperate, like they'll actually come toward you. Um, you know, so that's one way like, is is the animal kind of coming toward you or approaching people? Do you see blood or an injury or is it covered in insects? As I mentioned before, has it been caught by a cat or a dog? Um, is it a baby and it's cold? You know, they have to be warmed back, warm back up or is it crying, you know, so there's some different things to kind of look at. And then if, if you do um, decide it needs to be rescued, the best thing to do is get a box ready, um, cut an air hole in it, put a towel on the bottom, have it ready to go. Never touch a mammal with your bare hands. It, uh, gloves are a good idea, period, but especially a mammal, um, especially rabies vector animals, because if yeah. there's any chance that you had contact with it, then we have to test that animal for rabies. And unfortunately, as you know, yeah. that means the animal has to be euthanized. So always wear gloves. Um, and then, um, like I said, put on some gloves, maybe grab a, a towel or a blanket to throw over the animal as you pick it up. Or if you have a net, sometimes that works well, especially if it's a bird. Um, so place the animal in that box. If it's a baby, get a heating pad, set it to low, put it under half the box because um, you're going to want to warm up a baby. Um, don't give it any food or water because sometimes that can make the situation worse. Um, sometimes we get people actually give feeding baby birds water, which can go down the wrong pipe and give it pneumonia, you know, things like that. Or um, or if the baby's cold and you try to feed it and give it water, they're, they can't digest. So there are some reasons why we say don't give food or water. And then keep them in, in a you know warm, dark and quiet place, keeping children and pets away and try not to peek at them. They keep to keep their stress levels down basically there are literally some species that can um die of fright you know it might not happen right away there's certain mammals where um, a lot of the times the the parents aren't constantly with the babies mm -hmm. so like rabbits will have a nest um, in the ground and um, they'll leave their babies for hours at a time so if, right. even if you think they're abandoned you know and like a fawn is a good example um the mom will you know, only come back every so many hours and the fawn will stay pretty quiet and kind of hidden away, but you might run across one and think it's been abandoned. Um, now, an example might be if that fawn approaches you and it's crying, there's maybe something wrong. Yeah. Know. Animal Help Now, it's mm -hmm. ahnow.org. Mm -hmm. And you can search, I think it's just the United States, um, you can search your location and it'll tell you the nearest uh, wildlife rescue facilities and which animals that they treat. So that's one way to locate your, your closest one, um, whether it's you want to volunteer or whether you found an animal. You know, they actually have an app, too, that you can put on your phone. Mm -hmm.